I have lived、uh, overseas more than half of my lifetime, and、um, we haven't really heard people talking about Japan or focusing on Japan for so many years until March 11th. <laughs> so after March 11th, where I live、uh, in New York, I start to see people focusing on Japan again, not for the right reason. But and also I saw several articles in New York Times, and there was one article which attracted my attention. Was the huge article on the front page,、um, accompanied, accompanied by a、um, big photograph of elderly Japanese men enjoying taking a bath in one of the evacuation centers, which was temporarily set up in an evacuation center, and the the author was. Raving about how orderly and civil Japanese are. That's all they talk about now in New York about Japanese people. And yes, we are orderly and civil. This, these are the photographs of the evacuation center, orderly. And the, however, let me share with you some disturbing statistics. This is the statistics, statistics based on the research in 2009. By Japan Youth Research, in- Research Institute, and according to this, 30% of feel lonely and isolated. These are about teenagers, junior high and high school. 50% feel their ability below average. 60% feel they are worthless.、Uh, 60% feel they won't make any difference, even if they do something in a society. And 80% feel always fatigued. Let's go back to about 30 years ago, in 1970s in Japan. These young girls were in the forming age, and this at that time Japan was a different world. The whole world was a different world, and it was much simpler structure. And if you go to the famous schools and、uh, employed by reputable employers, that promise success. Success meaning the money you earn and the social status. And marrying one of those could mean success to women. However, this young woman, Japanese woman,、uh, 18 years old, she felt the society was too restrictive and suffocating, and she felt Japan was nowhere she could live without compromising her soul. So she left to the West at that time, and she trained herself as a self-trained herself to become a photographer. To, as a means of expressing herself and also to make a living out of it. <clears throat> and that time she was going back to Japan once a year to see、um, uh, families. And in late 1990s, she started to feel something was failing in Japan. And she asked. It was like an empty room through her eyes after a beautiful banquet. And this is a poetic way to put it, and a realistic way to put it was 97 was a major financial institution meltdown, 98 was the first year suicidal deaths culminated over 30,000, and it was also the first year number of shut in children, hikikomori children, reached 130,000. Last year it was 180,000. So、um, coincidentally, she happened to hear about social entrepreneurship in New York, and she started to research. And she start, went to see different people、uh, who are making social changes、um, single-handedly, and she was just so amazed by it. And it was a huge eye-opener and turning point in her life. And from that day,、uh, she's a missionary. I am a missionary, <laughs> and a,、um, I've been devoting myself to proselytize. Um, new way of living and working, backed up by new values and new culture. These are the people. And 2005 was a、um, historical year in Japan. The Keio Grad School opened Japan's first social innovation course, and the book I wrote about on these people was selected as the first textbook. And I felt deeply gratified、uh, to be feeling to be a part of what's becoming a new era in Japan. And very, very often.、Um, Criticize young people for being disfranchised and unmotivated and lack of zest for life and so forth. But is it their fault? Some people suspect, including myself, it's of a punitive and a forgiving culture. We don't allow people to make mistakes. 
And we ostracize people who are right slightly off the standard. And had she lived in Japan, had she stayed in Japan, she would have felt the same way. <coughs> and in the United States and some Western uh, industrial company, uh, countries, the uh, successful entrepreneurs fail average twice before they succeed. And Silicon Valley, new entrepreneurs uh, have difficulties uh, raising funds. The entrepreneurs who failed once or twice before have easier time. That shows the values is on um, making a mistake and you learn from it. On the other hand, security and safety and also the face are the most sought after values in Japan. And the new consensus is that Japan has to change. And we have to be pushed against the wall to make a decision, to make a choice, to keep living in denial or to act. Then how can we put this, our, our feeling into an action? Let's start from redefining success. Actually, okay, I went to that. As, so I opted to act. And while I keep continuing, I continue introducing social innovators as role models to Japan. Uh, recently, my team and I initiated um, um, to create an environment for young people to grow into change makers under the name of Ashoka Seals Venture. In, in this environment we are creating, um, we adults open our mind to listen to young people very carefully what they think and what they feel. And we inspire them and encourage them, never judge them. And we support, um, support them emotionally, technically, and also even financially to turn them into change makers, therefore young leaders, future leaders in Japan. And these are the people we have empowered and they are becoming to be uh, future leaders. Um, and in this environment, um, uh, we don't consider uh, success as we used to. We measure success from how empathetic, um, empathetic they are, empathetic skills, and also measure on their change maker skills. These are the criteria we measure success in this environment and hope one very soon this environment becomes a part of Japanese culture. And uh, we do this in collaboration with grown-ups who share the same vision. And so please join us. Thank you.